Well, howdy there, YouTube. I'm uh, getting some news, and I'm out here at the uh, stereo ahead. Let me turn down my TV a little bit. I like to watch the westerns in the afternoon, and my baby's sitting there playing in her playpen, so that's what you're hearing in the background here. And I had to pause it there for a minute. I wanted to make sure that my uh, screencaster was working okay, and uh, I want to give the shout out here to Thor News. This guy I like to watch. He's pretty funny. Uh, go check out his website. And they picked up something pretty neat on the uh, stereo uh, uh, satellite here. And uh, everybody's looking at Ison. Sure, great. And my Ison report seems to be correct so far. And uh, especially about the after effects of Ison uh, whipping around. And uh, we've got the sun unusually quiet. Uh, maybe that has something to do with the alignments of Venus and Earth. Uh, but I think there was some action when it came to ice and whipping around the sun that they covered up. There's four hours of blackout uh, when it comes to the images and movies. And I can't get any movies uh, worthwhile uh, to uh, download from these sites that supposedly they had. All these cameras turned. We have uh, Ben Time Traveler out there. He caught a uh, shadow of something that's out there uh, by the sun. So I encourage you to check that out too. It's on my like section. Uh, if you go check that out, uh, his videos right there, uh, and he's continually doing some coverage on uh, Ison and what is behind Ison, and this is what Thor News brought out. Let me go ahead and uh, click on this image here for you view, and this is what we're looking at here. Ison is already around and down out out of view here, and this is uh, supposedly what's behind Ison. This is uh, what I mean uh, when I said earlier in my Ison update video is that. Yes, you guys are looking at Ison, and if NASA's not looking at Ison, they're looking at something else. And this could be the something else. Uh, they actually have been knowing about this for several years, and uh, there's this guy that I used to follow, he's no longer on YouTube for some reason, that had been picking this stuff out, okay, on these satellites, and uh, that was in view not so long ago. And... Uh, but this is what appears to be behind Ison. Okay, let me go ahead and go back. That's the first image. As we can clearly see, second image, kind of like doing a little bit of a movie. See this here? Yeah, my baby can see it too. Let me go up here to the third image here, or fourth image here. So there's one, two, three, four, five images. But this is what is behind Ison. We're yet to identify exactly what it is. We can see uh, that there are uh, trails in behind it. Let's see if I can't. Uh, as you can see, there's a trail in behind it there. So, uh, sorry, I don't have my screencaster position exactly where you can see it. So it is moving through space, <clears throat> leaving a plasma trail behind it. And uh, remember, we can only see where they point these cameras. And we know that NASA was sitting there having an hour-long live uh, uh, hangout for Ison while looking at a frozen screen. Thanks, Ben Time Traveler, for pointing that out. I looked at that image, went to the, to the site myself, and sure enough, they were looking at basically a blank screen and with a frozen image, right? You know, kind of like what a robber would do. Uh, when trying to rob a bank to show you the same image over and over and over again thinking you're looking at a movie and uh, that's what NASA did to their buddies uh, I also wanted to show you this I downloaded this uh, from the same uh, website here and this is the best movie I could get the uh, the JPEG or the MPEGs and it's only microseconds long or it's downloading so fast that it's not giving, I, I had to pause it to get this image here uh, to show that it's actually moving through space. Uh, so here we go. See, that's how fast, that's, as you can see, it is moving through space. I'm having to hit play over and over again because this is the best download I could get off of the Soho site. You can see the, uh, in the center here, the planet moving in the background and it moving up over here. You can see it's actually moving through space. So uh, this is a solar update. You guys should uh, be going out to these sites and trying to get all these images you can. See, I can't even get a pause. Maybe I can get a pause here again like I had it. There we go. And see, as you can see, there's a plasma trail behind it. Okay. 
and uh, you saw the movement in the planets. This thing is moving to space. It is a lot bigger than Ison. And uh, I mean, this sucker, if, if Ison was three miles across, this is the size of Australia. Okay, maybe the size of, of a small planet. Now, people are talking about maybe ice and hitting this object here and causing this to go along the same path. Uh, we're just not quite sure yet. Uh, so, uh, but this is a solar object in, in space. It's now been identified because the cameras were pointed in the uh, right direction and they're trying to scrub these from their sites. So, I encourage everyone to go out there to the stereo uh, website, Soho, and all those image sites to try to get this. Uh, captured on your own devices, on, uh, downloaded to your own drives, so they can't scrub this. And like I said, look at this. It's the best movie I got out of them. But like you can see, it is moving through space along with the other planets. I'm sorry, this is as long as they'll give it to me. I wish I could slow it down for you right now. Maybe I will get around to doing that later, but I'm hoping to get a bit of better uh, movie from it. See? See how the light changes? That's, that means it's in the path of the energy of the sun. So this is going probably along the same path or maybe going around the sun itself. Uh, so this is what we really should have been looking at. This is probably what NASA has been looking at, folks. So I hope uh, this video um, catches your eye and you guys go out there and do your own uh, research. And uh, I'm not going along with all the shills that are out there. And, uh, and not really paying attention uh, to what's really going. See, so uh, what I look for is the missing information. I, I am a genius when it comes to algebra, okay? And I can do algebra in my head. And so when I look at these things, and you know, you're know, kind of doing the math, you know, this is whatever the answers aren't there, that's what you should be looking at, what you don't know and what you don't see. You see all this stuff, okay, fine, come to a conclusion, but what about what you don't see? Okay, with the unanswered questions, those questions that are still out there. Okay, take a look at that, folks. I mean, you can even see the, the light change as the sun is, is actually, the energy's hitting it. So this is intersolar. Check it out. Let me get it paused again. <laughs> it's really hard because that's how quick it is. So it's moving into, just moving into view of these cameras. See if they'll change the, uh, see, there we go. We got a nice little uh, picture there. But let's see if they'll keep their eye on this here, folks. Well, that's my report for now. Um, you know, we've got a lot going on also uh, uh, with the weather and the geoengineering that's going on there. Uh, we should uh, go out and look at my latest one of the chemtrails that are found in the Gulf and how they're using that area as a place of geoengineering. Let that one out a couple of days ago. So, uh, but like I said, uh, this one... You know, we thought it was over with Ison, right? No, it's uh, the party's just begun, folks. Take care.